Super Bowl catch. Good job. One more. Here we go. Good job, Wade. Up. Down. Roll. Good job. Some animals, like the animals I see behind me right now, the otters, they do just fine in this type of weather. And we have plenty of other animals, the sea lions, the, the polar bear, that you don't really have to do much. We do have some internal holding for them to stay in if it gets really cold or the weather's really bad. Um, but the reality is they, they do just fine in this weather. But we also have plenty of other animals that uh, do need special care in the winter time. This is Murphy. Um, he's one of our giraffes. Um, you can see just from the enrichment that's hanging that we offer plenty of puzzle feeders, tons of enrichment. Um, you can see a variety of different styles of puzzle feeders and enrichment for them um, to keep them mentally stimulated, to take longer to eat their food, um, and all kinds of stuff just to keep them from being bored during the winter time. We keep giraffe inside. Um, they need warmer weather than what you would think of of some of the other animals like polar bears or lions. Um, they have to be in temperatures above 60, so we actually keep it really warm in here. We keep it at about 75. Um, they have extra heaters. They have heaters at ground level, so what we would think, and then we're up in the hayloft right now, and we actually have a full heating unit just for the hayloft so that we can supply more heat what it would be their head level versus what is our head level. This is where all the birds that are usually out in the aviary hang out. See a little bit of everything in here. So as you can see, we've got some streamers in here today, which is part of our enrichment. Um, we try to do things to enrich the animals' lives a little bit when they're locked inside, because it's definitely uh, not as exciting as having the public walking through and seeing something new every day. So we try to, to add to the enrichment. In all of our areas, we have temperature guidelines. Um, so all of our species have a set temperature they can go outside at. They have to be locked in if it's below that. Um, we post them. Uh, if it reaches 35 degrees, say, the ground hornbills can go outside. Even if we're not open to the public, as we are right now, we still put them out. Uh, the animals like going outside, so we, we try to make sure we get them out as, as much as possible. Our tigers, um, we weren't sure how they were going to do. We just got them from San Diego this year, and they were born in San Diego. And so, but they love it. They're outside. They're, they can handle the temperatures, but we were like, they've never seen, you know, or experienced the cold, but they really, really like it. They're out there. Uh, there's a lot of education moments about when people are coming through the front gates and letting them know, hey, just so you know today, um, these animals might not be out on exhibit because it's too cold, or these animals might not be out on exhibit today because there's still a lot of ice in the yard. And I think a lot of our visitors understand as long as we're making sure to get that message across.